Minecraft 1.21 is quickly turning into the Redstone update 2.0. We've already covered the crafter, and now in the second snapshot, we have the copper bulb. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really think much of these when we saw them in Minecraft Live. I was completely focused on what the crafter could do, but as it turns out, this block is really, really good. What do these things do? Well, it's a redstone lamp that stays on when it's not powered, so it's a single block that acts as a toggle. You can take a comparator output from them, and when the bulb is turned on, the comparator gets powered. This is a tiny T flip flop. And yes, I've already seen that people are calling it the cop flop. Which, yeah, I think that's a good name for it. And I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of sounds like a car indicator. Yeah, I got a little sidetracked there. It's kind of like a redstone block in the sense that it's a movable power source. I can pull this away from the comparator to turn it off, and I can also push it into the comparator to turn it on, just like I could do with a redstone block. But the key difference here is that a redstone block cannot be turned off. If I put a redstone block here and I put redstone dust on there, that dust is staying on forever. You cannot turn off the power. But with the copper bulb, you can. So I can have something that moves back and forth and doesn't power this comparator, and then when I do want it to be powered, I can turn it on. Now, if you don't do redstone, this might not seem very useful, but if you're someone who makes redstone computers, this is actually a really cool feature. It's basically a movable bit of information, a bit being a 1 or a 0. When the bulb is on, that's 1, and when the lamp is off, that's 0. So the people who make redstone computers are probably going to like this block a lot, not just because because it's a movable bit of information, these things are also really good for redstone screens. If you've seen redstone computers, then you might have noticed that the individual pixels are very big. They're normally 2x2 two two or bigger. They never have 1x1 one one pixels, so the resolution is quite low. And that's because all we've had until now is redstone lamps, and these are quite limited in what they can do. If I power this redstone lamp, it's going to affect four of the lamps around it because it's a solid block. The copper bulb is a transparent block, so it doesn't affect anything around it. And also, the redstone lamp doesn't stay on. The copper bulb does. If I want to keep the redstone lamps on, then I've got to use a bunch of space behind it to keep it turned on. I have to strong power it through another block. Now, this might not look that big, but it's actually taking up a lot of valuable space, because you still need to consider that I need to be able to turn every other pixel on independently. And as you can imagine, this gets very big very quickly. I can turn on the pixels individually now, but it really shouldn't have to be this big. Most of the size comes from the fact that the lamps don't stay on by themselves, so we need observer clocks or redstone blocks to keep them on. But the copper bulb just solves all of these issues. If I want to turn a pixel on, it just needs a single observer pulse. And if I want to turn it off, I just pulse it again. It's really that simple. And you can also do this in reverse. Instead of trying to make a screen, you can make a visual button panel, so you can see all of the buttons that you've pressed. And I've used that to make a very silly combination lock. The combination is a smiley face. And then this door opens. And if I remove any of these, then the door closes. And if I press any of the wrong buttons, then it also closes. It's functionally identical to a lever combination lock, but this is far less interesting than being able to draw your password. I guess this makes it easier to remember passwords now, since you can draw them. And I thought those were all of the uses for this thing, until I realized the copper bulb is exactly the block I have wanted for years. Some of you probably know that Minecraft is a game that runs at 20 ticks per second, and redstone components follow these ticks. So a redstone repeater is two games ticks of delay. If you right click it once, then it's 4 game ticks, right click it twice, then it's 6 game ticks, and on max delay it's 8 game ticks. And other redstone components follow this logic as well. Redstone torches are 2 game ticks. Observers are 2 game ticks. Dispensers and droppers have a 4 game tick delay. Are you noticing a pattern yet? All of these delays are even numbers. None of them are odd numbers. And this is quite annoying, because pistons can be powered every 3 game ticks, which means if we want the fastest possible redstone, then we need to be using odd game ticks, which we can't get with these components alone. We have to resort to really janky ways of getting odd game tick delays. For example, a piston powering another piston gives us a three game tick delay, and I've put another piston next to it powered by a repeater so you can see the one game tick difference. 
And this way of doing it is quite big. We can't always fit it into our redstone. So there's two other ways that we get odd game tick delays. We can move a wooden log next to some leaves, or we can open a trapdoor underneath some floating scaffolding. And both of these have their drawbacks. Using leaves means that we have different delays when we turn it on versus when we turn it off. It takes longer to power. And with scaffolding, it has to be at least two blocks tall because scaffolding needs blocks underneath it. You can't have it floating, it just disappears. And this is where the copper bulb comes in. It has a one game tick delay. I have wanted this for years. A dedicated redstone component that has a one game tick delay. So with just one copper bulb and one observer, we can do exactly the same thing as these circuits, but just smaller and better. This is so nice because there's now a convenient way to get the smallest delay between things possible. This is really satisfying, by the way. So the copper bulb has ticked off one of the biggest things on my redstone wish list, and it still doesn't stop there. I already mentioned with the redstone screens that this is a transparent block. So if you power it, it doesn't affect the blocks next to it. Well, that is useful for more than just redstone screens. It's also really useful for just powering observers. Sometimes you might have a row of observers like this, where it's the same thing stacked next to each other a bunch of times. You can see here that I have independent control of each row. If I used no blocks for this, then we run into the same issue we have with the redstone lamps. They are solid blocks, so if I directly power into this note block, it's going to power the two note blocks next to it as well, and so we don't have independent control of each row. And also, just like the redstone lamps, the way you fix this is by moving the observers up and putting blocks in between, which makes it bigger. But now we do have independent control of each piston. Another way you could fix it is by putting blocks underneath the node blocks, then removing them, and then replacing them with powered rails and activator rails. And again, this is bigger, and it also has the drawback that rails need supporting blocks underneath them, so you won't be able to use them in all situations. You might have something underneath here that you can't put rails on, so there's three other things we can use. We can use hoppers, which are very expensive and can't be moved like the copper bulb. And yes, they do generate a little bit of lag, but it's really not a problem unless you have thousands and thousands of them. But if you really don't like using hoppers, then you've got two other options. Trapdoors, which are noisy, or even worse, bells, which are even noisier. <laughs> Pistons are noisy enough on their own. You don't want to make it worse by having multiple different noises going on. And copper bulbs aren't noisy. They do make a sound but it's really, really subtle. So basically, copper bulbs are a redstone lamp, a redstone block, and a transparent note block with a one game tick delay, all in one. I already love this block, and I've barely even had time to use it yet, but I already know it's gonna be really nice using this thing in future redstone builds. Subscribe.